Right, and um, welcome back guys. Uh, today I will be showing you how to make a day and night cycle in Unreal Engine 4, this is. Um, so to start off with, we're just going to uh, we'll go to the first person. Create project. Doesn't need a specific name, just name anything. Just let our uh, world load in here. Right, so you can see we've got a world here, we can play, shoot little projectiles and everything. Um, and our sun, if I go back into play, you'll be able to see it's just static, it's not moving. Um, and what I'm going to be showing you today is it's going to be moving, it's going to be going day and night. Uh, so to start off with, you want to select the dominant directional light source. So that's this one here, the light source. You want to change it to movable, and you want to untick this. Un tick cast shadows for the moment. You can change it back onto it later. Uh, I'm gonna just leave it as light source, but you can rename it to sun or whatever. But um, after you've done this, you have to go into Blueprints, open level blueprint. Then you want to add an event tick. This will make it so that every tick the uh, sun is moving. In a bit uh, then you want to move this into a. Uh, you want to add an actor. First, what you want to do is you want to create a variable, and you can rename this sun speed because this will be the you can change this by to make your sun quicker or slower. Uh, you want to change the variable type to a float, uh, and then click compile, and then this will be your sun speed here. If you want a 10-minute day and night cycle, so for the sun to do one full rotation, it will be around 1.3, uh, 0.35. So I'm gonna leave it as that to make it 10 minutes. Um, although just for demonstration purposes, to make it go quick, I'm gonna change it to 30, which is quite a high value. Um, then you can drag this sun speed, this variable down here. You want to get a float times float, so you type in float. This one here with start and input them both, and then you want to obviously make the uh, sun rotate around. So you want to make a rotator. You want to put this value into the pitch. Make sure it's into the pitch. Make the links. Put it into the pitch. It's defaultly put to the roll, but you want to put it into the pitch. Remember that. And um, then we can put this into. local rotation um, and then if we close down we can drag this light source into here or you might rename it sun it depends and put that into the target and drag this event tick to RD uh, and then you want to uh, get the up, you want to update the sun direction so that it um, keeps on turning, and then you can drag this down. Sorry, um, you want to find this sphere blueprint, and if you drag it down, and it says if it says that it's um, not compatible, then you can just uh, select this and then uh, make it, and then it should work. Uh, that was one of the common problems I've seen around. Uh, and then we click compile. You can X this. Play. And as you can see, the sun is rotating around and around the world. It is. 
So 30 is quite a high speed for the sun to rotate. So we just exit, open the level blueprint, click on the sun speed variable. Maybe change this to the um, 10 minute cycle, which is 0.35 roughly. Click play. The sun will be rotating a lot slower. It is rotating, but it will be rotating a lot slower. Now, as you can see, these uh, objects have not got a shadow yet. So if you click on the light source, the direction one, or you might rename it sun, as I said, uh, you can cast shadows. So now as the sun moves, it will slowly move, and these shadows will move with it. You might be able to see them moving. Now moving slowly. So after a 10 minute cycle, the shadow will be in the same place, and it would have gone through night, and then back to day. So, if you guys liked or found this tutorial helpful, then be sure to give it a like, and if you haven't already, subscribe, because it will greatly uh, help me out. But other than that, uh, I think that's it. So, goodbye.